Welcome to Bread from the Porter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on October the 1st, 2017. The title of the message is The Jewish and the Gentile Church And the Lord Jesus began Children, my word really means what it says and it applies to all people of every nation and every race. The Bible was not written for a select few. No, it was written for all mankind. My blessings apply to all my children, whether they are Abraham's descendant by birth or by faith. Did I not say I am no respecter of persons? What I will do for one, I will do for another. The problem is that many of my children have been deceived into thinking that the blessings in my word only apply to a small group of people, specifically the nation of Israel. You are mistaken. For did I not say that my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations? Did I not send my disciples out into all the earth to make disciples of all nations? I have not placed a curse on any of my children. All nations of people receive my blessings, and none is higher than the other. When I was on earth I said that he who does my father's will is my brother. Therefore, regardless of what race you are or what background you come from, if you have placed your trust in me and you do my father's will, you are my child and my blessings belong to you. Therefore, from now on, I do not want you to feel inferior to anyone else. You are all brothers and sisters and you are all equal. Your assignments may differ, but they all converge in that all are sent to make disciples of all peoples in all nations. It is time to stop the division I see among you. You are all one. You are my body and you are all essential in your roles. All I ask is that you obey me and give me your very best. I will not settle for just anything. I want your very best. Children, it saddens me when I see you get angry and envious of Israel. I love you, both Jews and Gentiles. I am a father to both of you. Gentiles are not stepchildren. I do not have stepchildren. You are my children just as Israel were my children and some are still my children in Israel today. Do not be deceived. Not all of Israel is mine. There are many wolves among them who are hiding among my sheep. This is the same scenario in every group of people. There are wolves among every flock of sheep. My point here is that my children who are of the Gentile church have no need of envy. I have made space and a place for you in my kingdom. I have performed awesome miracles among you than among the children of Israel. Israel was my firstborn in a physical sense, but all who believe in me, Jesus, whether Jew or Gentile, are my firstborn in the spirit. I do not favor one over the other. I love you equally. Therefore, stop the envy, hate, and bitter words towards each other. I will not have bickering in my house. Truly, if you are to come to heaven right now, you would see that we are all one. No group of people, no nation is above another. The Gentiles were engrafted into the church, and now there is no distinction between them and the original tree. The tree nourishes all the branches, both original and drafted branches. The branches receive the same nutrients from the tree, which is fed through its roots. Stop the squabbling. Stop listening to those who are bringing division in my body. The time is long past when the Gentile church loves the Jewish church and vice versa. You all believe in me, Jesus, as your Savior. Therefore, you are one. Stop the division now, for a time is coming when you will realize how much you belong together. The Antichrist will come after the Jews and the Gentile Christians with a vengeance, and on that day you will realize that I am God to both of you. For at that time the eyes of the Jews will be opened, and they will see me as I am. They will know me as I am, and they will at last bow down before me and acknowledge me Jesus as their Messiah. Then you will both realize that you are brothers, even as Ishmael and Isaac were brothers. Remember, during this time of great turmoil, my children will consist of the Gentile church, Jewish believers, and newly converted Muslims. You will at last become one. 
united by adversity, made one at the edge of a sword. So be it, and it shall surely be so. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.